Hey everybody, I hope you all are doing well and welcome back to Whiskey Wonders. And today, oh man, do we have a wonder for you because we were able to get our sticky little hands on some of the earliest releases of the 100th anniversary of whiskeys from Suntory. I'm talking about the Hakushu 1200th anniversary, the Yamazaki 1200th anniversary, and the Hakushu 18. 100th anniversary. Now, <laughs> they were not cheap, and we had to do a truly unreasonable amount of wandering to get them, ah, but we are sure glad that we did, uh, and so we can share them with you all on the channel today. So today, we are doing a wander for the Suntory 100th anniversary Yamazaki 12, Hakushu 12, and Hakushu 18 that spans across the American Southwest, from Arizona Total Wines to California to Costco's for this very special, and I would say even unicorn level bottles. Now, before we get to the wonder, if you like these videos, if you like the wonders, if you like the hauls, if you like the reviews, the unbottlings, the unboxings, the drink throughs, and really all the amazing stuff we got cooking up for you, and we have tons of amazing stuff cooking up for you, don't forget to like and subscribe because it does really help the channel to grow, and we are so, so thankful for that. But also, you get notifications when our newest videos come out on Sundays and, you know, sometimes in between. All right, now, Let's get down to the video. So for a wander that is uh, what I would consider this big of a win. <laughs> I mean, I can't think of anything that we can enjoy as far as whiskey goes that's gonna do it justice. But you know, we're gonna try, and today I think I'm gonna be enjoying, let me get a glass here. I'm enjoying one of these old friends here. Let's do the Balvenie 14, the Caribbean cask. Yeah. So let's see if we can get a pop here. Ah, turn it over. See if we can get a pop. Mmm, get some juice here. Oh, yeah. And it's whiskey, because honestly, truly, you can never drink too much of it. <laughs> you can only really just drink it too fast. Cheers. Mmm, tastes like that lobster from Little Mermaid. Caribbean. All right, so for today, we are going to start off with the consummate crowd pleasers for Japanese whiskey, probably one of the most popular siblings, uh, most sought after and most hyped of the Japanese whiskey world from Beam and Centauri, that is, and at least <laughs> for us mere mortals out there. Uh, we're going to talk about the Yamazaki 12 and the Hakushu 12. But these, both these bottles actually have the added bonus and substantial addition of dollars to them because they have this little 100-year-old emblem on there, <laughs> which I think you can see. Because not only is this the same uh, Hakushu and Yamazaki whiskeys that we all know and love, but these ones were specifically produced to honor Beam Suntory for being in business for 100 years. So happy birthday, Suntory. Cheers. Now, the thing with these bottles, unlike the Kushu 18, which we will get to here in a moment, is that the juice inside of the Yamazaki 12 and uh, the Hakushu 12, for that matter, well, their DNA is basically <laughs> kind of, sort of, really actually exactly the same as what you would get with the standard Yamazaki 12 or Hakushu 12. So uh, the Yamazaki 12 100th anniversary is going to be aged in sherry, ex-bourbon, and Mizanara oak cast, aged 12 years and goes through the basic same distillation process and aging process that you get again with the Yamazaki 12 standard. Also, it keeps that ABV of 43% or 86 proof. In fact, let me see if I can grab one of the standard ones. I want to compare it to the standard Yamazaki 12, which we can see here. Put those side by side. So actually, when you look at them, you really don't even see that big of a difference. There are some minor changes to the labeling and even less minor changes <laughs> to the actual whiskey itself. So 43 and 43%. Grab the Hukushu too. It really the same goes for the Hukushu 12 versus the standard Hukushu 12, uh, which we can see here if we pull them both out. Uh, there are really just going to be, you know, kind of minor differences in the two. Oh, <laughs> one other thing that you get uh, that I think is important to emphasize here is that you get a, a little booklet. Anniversary one. Let's see here. So you get a little booklet. So that's kind of cool too, right? You get to, so you get that uh, to go along with that one. And you get, you have it. and you get a booklet for the 12 as well. That's kind of a nice little touch and it gives you like a little explanation of what's going on here. So yeah, the same actually does go for the Hakushu 12. So it is deliciously peated like uh, the normal 12. 
Um, it is aged in American oak and sherry cask, and then also blended uh, with a peated malted finish like normal. And yeah, it keeps that 43% as well. Uh, but the one big claim by Centauri about these, and <laughs> I don't know, take it with a grain of salt, it could be just marketing, is that these barrels have been specifically selected uh, by the distiller to make this limited edition. So if we want to kind of follow along with the Hibiki archetype, if we wanted to do that, we could say that they have been selected by a master distiller or a master select, and they will not be produced again, so they are mm, limited edition. So maybe we could even call them <laughs> a limited edition master select. Anyways, nomenclature aside, uh, the one thing that does really set these two things apart uh, for the 100th anniversary versions, uh, uh, rather than their less salubrious, uh, <laughs> brothers is going to be the price. Now here at the Total Wine in Arizona, uh, we can see that the Yamazaki 12, the 100th anniversary, is priced at a whopping $349.99, which is heads and shoulders above the cost. We found it again at Total Wine, but this time in California at a later date at $259.99. So that means that if we would have waited just a little bit longer and not have jumped the gun like we did, uh, we would have saved about $84 off the Total Wine Arizona price, or about 24%. Uh, luckily for us, the Total Wine Arizona, well, they didn't have the Kushu uh, 12 100th anniversary, so we did not end up buying it for absorbent prices, uh, but we did end up buying this one at uh, California Total Wine for $259. And 99 cents, which is better, but still much, much more than we would have paid if we could find it at Costco, uh, which uh, they have not shown up in California yet, but I have seen the Washington price, uh, which is at $199, and then they include all kinds of crazy taxes in there, which we're excluding. So the Costco price is $199. And again, <laughs> crazy taxes come from California really saying something. But if we take that standard Costco price from Washington at $199, uh, we can see that uh, the total wine price that we paid for the Kushu 12 100th anniversary is over by $60.99 or 23.46%. Now just to add a little bit of perspective to all this, if we wanted to compare the price for the Yamazaki 12 um, anniversary versus the Yamazaki 12 standard uh, then we can start seeing <laughs> where the biggest difference is. Uh, because currently the Yamazaki 12 is priced at Total Wine at $115.99. And the Hakushu 12, in fact, is a priced a little bit higher, which is strange. I would have thought the Yamazaki would be higher, uh, but maybe these are the new prices, at $139.99 for the standard, which means that um, we are being priced at $120 over the standard bottle uh, for the Hakushu, uh, or 46.16% and $84 more, or 24%, for the Yamazaki anniversary over the standard bottle. So what all this actually cracks down to when we really start to think about it and brings up the real true question about, uh, is it worth paying more for a whiskey that are, you know, functionally identical uh, at the exact same ABV, but for a considerably higher price, just because you have the little badges on there? I guess we already know what our answer was to that. One other complication to all of this is the fact that there are not really any review scores on the uh, 100th anniversary edition. So we didn't have that additional input in there to make a decision about whether to pick them up or not. So overall, thinking about how much time and energy it took to get these two, <laughs> I think, uh, you know, I, and whether it's worth it when we put it into the calculation, I do think it's worth it. Uh, I think that it's worth it because, uh, one, it, uh, they're unique editions uh, that we are probably never going to see again because it'll never have a 100th birthday again. Two, uh, they have a unique value to them, which I think is very, very cool. And three, uh, and three, given that it has no specific differences other than the barrel selections, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I guess if you really came down to it, you could just drink the 12 and stare at the 12 anniversary and maybe even get the same kind of effect. <laughs> In the end, both the Yamazaki 12 and the Hakushu 12 100th anniversary, uh, obviously, we're going to be buys for us. Uh, but in reality, uh, thinking back about it, if we had not been able to get the Hakushu 18 at the same time in Arizona, I don't think that we would have driven all the way out there. We probably just would have waited out here in California. But it was that 18 that really kind of piqued our interest and piqued our wander drive <laughs> to get out there. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm happy that we got both of these. Uh, I'm happy that we got the Hagushu at the California price, and uh, I'm happy I got the Yamazaki at the Arizona price, um, and I'm even more happy about the Hagushu. So let's talk about the Hagushu 18. 
All right, so next up uh, for me is going to be the highlight of this trip and the highlight of this wander, which is something that both the wife and I were exceedingly excited to get. Uh, because, well, again, we have seen Hakushu 18s out there in the wild. Sometimes we see it at Costco. Sometimes we see it at our local grocery stores. Uh, we even saw them on a recent trip uh, while we were in Paris. But this one, this one <laughs> is something very very special and it comes with all the full kind of regalia that you would expect from such a unique bottle that it is which is going to be this hakushu 1800th anniversary which is yet another release uh, from suntory celebrating uh you know their 100th birthday and while uh, we are waiting for the yamazaki 1800th anniversary to hit the west coast and maybe fingers crossed the hibiki 100th anniversary, which will be very interesting. Uh, this one at the moment is the oldest anniversaries that we've seen on the West Coast thus far. But unlike the Yamazaki 12, the Hakushu 18 actually does have some factual changes to it, other than just kind of hypothetical ones like, you know, they selected better barrels uh, to uh, put into the bottle. Because of the fact that it actually has an ABV that is at 48%. Look at that, that is a beautiful bottle. <laughs> and you can see there, the ABV is at 48%, which is going to be considerably higher than the standard Hakushu uh, 18, which is at 43%. Now, you know, a couple points uh, doesn't seem like that big of a deal. A couple points in ABV a little bit higher. But coupled with the fact that it is aged 18 years, coupled with the fact that it is a limited production, and coupled with the fact that it is a unique bottle, those extra ABV points really start to add up on the price. Aside from this, the Hakushu 18 100 year uh, anniversary uh, does kind of go through the standard process of the normal Hakushu 18. And it maintains that Hakushu 18 uh, profile, uh, you know, being peated, being 18 years old and, and deeply reflecting the foresty distilleriness <laughs> from which the distillery comes from. So uh, I really like the Hunter Green on there too. I think that is a really spectacular color, wow. The price that we see it here at Total Wine is at a very hefty, and again, I'm almost uh, shy to talk about it. Although, if you've seen the channel, you obviously will know I'm not shy to talk about these prices. Um, we got it for $1,499.99. So I think we can go ahead and just call it $1,500. And there's not really much to compare it to, because uh, we have not really seen it anywhere else, so on the West Coast at least. Uh, or at a Costco or the other Total Wine. So I don't have a ton of other additional uh, uh, cost information on there to compare it to, uh, at least at the time of the video. And I'm not sure if this version is even going to make it all the way to Costco on the West Coast. But uh, we did recently see a bottle of the standard Akushu 18, uh, the non-100th anniversary, at a local Costco uh, for $488.00. Which means that the 100th anniversary Hakushu 18 uh, that we bought at Total Wine is about $111 more than the standard Hakushu 18. Or if we put that percentage, it's around 67% <laughs> more for the Hakushu anniversary 18 versus the standard one at Costco. Now, the same issue comes up with the Hakushu 18 100th anniversary that we saw uh, with the Yamazaki 100 and the Hakushu 12 uh, 100th anniversary is that there are not really any reviews on it uh, and there are not really any tasting notes on it just of yet, but again, if the indicators from the previous 18 and the juice is not that big of a difference, uh, I, I was almost guaranteed that it's going to be delicious either way. So final thoughts, 12 hours later, four, five, six tanks of gas and a small King's Ransom, uh, we were able to get our hands on what will likely be some of the hardest to get Japanese whiskeys to come out this year. And I'm still pretty glad for that. Uh, you know, the price is high and we overpaid for it even against its own, you know, Total Wine versus Total Wine. But I'm still glad that we got it. And also, it's a nice drive out to Arizona. Arizona is a real beautiful place. You folks out there in Arizona, <laughs> real lucky. Now the only thing that we got to do is keep our fingers crossed, keep the gas in the tank, and keep our hopes up uh, for when that Yamazaki 1800th anniversary comes out, or even if we see that Hibiki 100th anniversary come out. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. All right, so that's it for today's Whiskey Wanders, where we go wandering for the Suntory 100th anniversary whiskeys. And I really hope that you enjoyed uh, this video, and I hope that you kind of enjoy all of our videos, whether it is the wanders or the hauls or the reviews, with the unbottlings, the unboxings, the drink-throughs, and really all the amazing stuff <laughs> that we got cooking up for you, because we have tons of amazing stuff cooking up for you. And if you do, if you do like those things, don't forget to like and subscribe, uh, because it does really help the channel to grow, and we are super duper thankful for that. But also because you get notifications when our newest videos come out on Sundays, and, you know, sometimes in between. Now, 
Just remember, <laughs> if you do find a whiskey that you love, even if it is miles and miles and miles away and way more than you should be paying for it, just buy it. Because if you don't, somebody else surely will. And in this case, <laughs> specifically, it might even be me. All right, everybody, have a great rest of your week. I'm out and adios.